what's going on guys so i wanted to hop back on really quick and just kind of talk a little bit about um a little bit about my ordeal and my situation i'm not going to say too much because uh probably for like the last probably like the last two or three months i've been getting a lot of confirmation that um justice is coming justice is being rolled up and being formed um, for these people in this coven, these people who are involved in this uh, sex trafficking, and these people who are involved in um, this fraud, identity theft, uh, robbery, and you know miscellaneous things that these people have uh, thrown at me <laughs> uh, just within the last six months. So. Um, I don't want to give the impression that, you know, nothing's being done because that's not true. And I definitely want to give um, respect and um, accolades to the divine for doing the work and uh, getting this done. It's just, you know, when you're dealing with um, that type of power, it, it's um, going to work and maneuver in its own time and it's in, in divine timing and also in its and it's a bit slower than what you would probably than what i would like uh, because i've been going through this for a very long time but in the meantime i still have to protect myself i still have to be on alert and so um i will do that and i will not ask questions and i will not be calling emsa for you either you will bleed out uh that being said um so I am dealing with sex trafficking. I'm dealing with uh, a form of that because it's being utilized as a tool uh, with the Freemasons and these witches and warlocks that are a part of the Freemasonic order. Um, this is a, a way for them to try to silence me and to try to, um, I guess, to you know, encourage me to be in fear for whatever reason. Um, <laughs> For speaking the truth and you know having understanding about uh, their involvement with a lot of things that goes on in this world that people close their eyes to, I guess. Uh, that being said, um, you know I am being drugged and I am being sexually assaulted, and I know that there's a method to that. Uh, a lot of these guys that you know approach me. Because, you know, I, I've not made any bones about the fact that, you know, I'm trying to find someone that I can trust, someone that uh, could be my partner as far as a uh, platonic partner, a witness, a friend, uh, someone who would be able to speak on my behalf uh, about the things that I'm dealing with. Nothing romantic, haven't been looking for or interested in any, anything romantic in over 12 years. And that's just is what it is. Um, but I have, I've made that very open, and so people know that. You know, with the, with the kind of surveillance that I get, people are fully aware that that's something that I have you know, been interested in trying to accomplish. And that being said, I get a lot of these guys who have already drugged and violated me, popping up, trying to act like they're my friend and they want to be my friend. And, and the opener is always, you know, oh, do you believe in Jesus? And, oh, let's have a conversation about God. And, oh, my goodness, I, I relate to you so deeply. And, you know, at the end of the day, they're just trying to, you know, slither their way into my life and give some sort of a, a weird alibi. So they could say, oh, well, you know, uh, this happened because, you know, well, she's been having sex with this guy. That's where the sex came from and the, and the semen. No, not going to work. Not going to work. Um, so I get a lot of that because of that. You know, these police officers are trying their best to, to write this narrative, to try to make it look like I am consenting to this crime. And uh, there's just way too much evidence to prove otherwise, but I won't even get into that. Uh, I do want to focus on the sex trafficking aspect of it and the actual, um, the, the very depraved sexual nature of the whole crime. Um, because this is not just happening with me, obviously. This is happening with a lot of black indigenous women. And um, not all, 
but there's specific ones that are being handpicked out by this Freemasonic order. And I won't get into why that is right now. I'm just gonna simply say that this is being done at a rate that is uh, incredibly shameful in the United States and you're still able to, people are still trying to, to claim that this is a, a great country to live in with this kind of madness and terrorism going on. Uh, that being said, I wanted to get into a story of a young woman who is actually a Arizona native. Uh, it goes by the name of Cappy Porndexter. And she's a WNBA player. And um, the story popped up almost a year ago where she makes some pretty uh, heavy claims that she was being sex trafficked. Uh, she had gone missing for two years. Uh, this is a, a, a pretty famous person. She gone missing for two years, and when she popped back up, she was making these claims that she had been sex trafficked, and that she was being sex trafficked by no other than LeBron James. And um, the story didn't really get any media coverage. It didn't get any media coverage, and he was never investigated. And it was all almost about a year ago when this uh, information came to pass. And I want to show you guys a video of you know her, how she popped up on Instagram and, and um, made these claims, and then we'll chat a little bit more. I ain't on that shit. That tried to kill me for real. I just got out of that shit. I've been missing for almost like two years. It's about to get very strange. Then she just ended up going on Instagram Live multiple times a day back in July, claiming that LeBron James is a sex trafficker and how he stole all her money and multiple other questionable statements. Let me just play a few clips for you so you can see for yourself. I didn't even know where the f I was at. I do not f with LeBron James. That is a trafficker, my f That f is a trafficker. He is a f trafficker. He trafficked women in real time. That f stole all my money out of my bank account. So she went on to say some things that were pretty, uh, pretty incredible, pretty uh, extraordinary. But you guys, I, I really encourage you to go and look at that video and look that up, that story, so that you guys can get a, a full understanding of it. I wanted to show you really quickly how she used to look. I mean, she's a pretty attractive woman uh, prior to this happening to her. Um, it just goes to show that there's a lot of envy, a lot of jealousy involved. 